This exercise will cover the new uh, eject pen labeling uh, function from the mold menu. So I'll start by selecting uh, some ejector pins. The highlighted pins so far are the ones that are still linked to the PramNG, but we can also select pins that are not. Uh, so imported pins, for example, or modeled pins can still be selected. You, as you can see at the bottom of the list here, these pins are no longer linked to the PramNG. We simply need to select the reference faces that we wish the, the text to be added to, or the labels to be added to. So even once we've added some pins, we can add additional pins uh, to our selection list. Again, we have to highlight the reference face and the plate face where we want the text displayed. So once we've selected all our pins, we can come in and start changing the text that we want displayed so we can decide whether we just want numbers or numbers and letters, make any adjustments, 2D method. Okay, so if we accept that, um, highlight all the pins that we're going to apply a label to and then create the labels within the modeling environment. As you can see, labels both the pin and the plate, so the positions are highlighted. Now, some of these positions are not optimized so we need to come in and just tweak where the position of the text is so you can see they're highlighted in the tree we just come into the settings we can individually adjust the position of the text to optimize its position so we've got a number of examples here so if i just change the positions and on this exercise or this example just change the size as well the smaller pin less space on this example here if i just move it to a negative value, it moves it to the bottom of the pin. So we can also add a table of the results, add that into the 3D environment. If I come to the assembly manager, and pick on the individual pins, if I highlight some of the eject pins, you will see it adds the label number also to the bill of materials. For the individual pins. So if we come into edit, so we edit the pin, so I'm going to edit a standard element, so I'll just change the size of this pin here, make it a bit bigger, accept those results, you'll see the label stays in position for that pin. In addition to that, if I use a modeling function to translate any pins, if I select this pin here, if I offset its position, you know, X axis, just move it over a little bit, you can see that the pin label is actually moving with the geometry as I move it. So if I come back to the eject pin labeling interface, if I Select my pins again, just window select, just add in the additional pins that I've added labels to already. Um, I'm just gonna alter the, the display, how they're displayed. At the moment they're displayed with just profile text. So if I come in to the interface, highlight all the pins that I've added labels for. Come into the settings, and change them from a 2D, or if I actually change the string name as well, just to highlight it. So if I change it from a 2D method to a 3D method, apply those changes. Now, as you'll see, now the text is embossed into the solid models of both the pin and the, uh, the, the ejector plate. 